everyone and welcome back to another video. So I hope you've all been having a wonderful week. Today I'm really excited to be sharing with you this collaboration project that I've been working on with Nicole from eKiwi. So I've been wanting to do a one-on-one -on -one collaboration for a while now. Um, if you've been watching my videos before you probably know that I do a monthly hashtag collaboration and that's a group thing where there's a theme and everybody interprets the theme in their own way and it's something that I work on on my own and I really wanted to do a drawing and do a collaboration with someone where we each do one half and the drawing or the artwork is not finished until both our halves are put together and it's been really enjoyable working on this collaboration with Nicole and we chose a lovely theme which was spring and flowers and we picked a, a purple and green colour palette and it's been lots of fun just sort of working up what I'm going to do and sort of keeping in mind all the time that my, the piece will not be finished until she's done her half and we've put the, them both together. So as I said, the theme for our collaboration is flowers and spring and I, ch I suggested this purple, green and grey colour palette um, partly because on my desk at the time that we were discussing this project were these uh, lavender flowers and these are everywhere in the garden at the moment and they're just so beautiful that I thought it just, it just sort of fitted and it was perfect and she loved the idea as well. So, so I will have a link to Nicole's half of this collaboration in the description box and I really hope you'll go and watch it and have a look at what she does for this collaboration and I also hope you'll have a look at the rest of her videos and have a look at her social media links and perhaps even follow her channel if you like what you see. I really like her channel. I've been following um, eKiwi ever since I started this channel which was back in October I think and I just love her art style. It's so cute and the po the way she draws her characters, are, the poses are so full of life and movement and I just love the way she draws clothes and shoes. Shoes in particular. Her shoes are really cute and very imaginative and I, I really think you'll like her channel so I really hope you'll go and have a look. I'm going to start by sketching out the pattern that will form the background of our project and the first thing that I do when I'm drawing out a pattern is I'm going to roughly divide my piece of Bristol board into sections so it's easier for me to lay out how the pattern will go and I'm just going to make a rough grid using my ruler. So now that I have a rough grid laid out and I was careful to only press very lightly with my pencil because I don't want to score the paper because obviously I'm going to be rubbing out most of this grid in a moment. And now I'm just going to start to put on roughly my design and lay out my pattern and sketch in all the elements that I'm going to be using. So I outlined my drawing with one of my tripless fine liners and then I rubbed out all the pencil lines and the grid lines and now my drawing is ready for colouring and as I mentioned earlier we chose a purple, green, white and grey colour palette and I'm going to be using my Copic markers and possibly a couple of Pro markers to colour this.
So here is my half of the collaboration all finished and on screen now is the final piece with both of our halves put together and I have to say I really like how it turned out. I think the cool drew such a gorgeous character in with the lovely purple hair and the flowers and the little ruffled skirt and the shoes. Thank you so much Nicole for doing this collaboration with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I really hope you'll go and check out Nicole's half and watch her speed paint and watch her half the video. I'm going to do it as soon as I've published this as well so I'm looking forward to seeing her video and yes I hope you all have a creative week and I will see you next time.